Good afternoon, Sylvania, and happy holidays here from Channel 25. I'm Christy Carroll, and first off for you, wait, there seems to be a, a sleigh in the middle of Forest Lakes. Hannah Ka is there for coverage. Thanks, Christy. I'm Hannah Ka here at the site of the Great Christmas Disaster of 2013. It seems to be that Santa's sleigh has crashed into the largest of the Forest Lakes. What could be the cause of this tragedy? Investigative teams are here to find, the, find out what happened. Could it be technical <laughs> malfunctions or texting and flying? Back to you, Christy. Thanks, Hannah. Channel 25 would just like to reiterate how important it is to put your cell phone away while driving, or in this case, flying. Going along with the safety route, robberies are at an all-time high during this holiday season, so make sure to lock up all your houses and your cars. Candy's standing by for more. Hi, I'm out here on the scene reporting on all of the burglaries that have happened in the recent weeks following the holiday season. It is so important for you to lock up your house and your cars because right here in this house, these, this family lost all of their Kwanzaa presents last night due to a burglary. So make sure you lock up your house and lock up your cars and have a safe holiday season. Wow, I'll definitely be locking everything up and checking it twice. Candy has flown out to D.C. to show how our nation's president is actually celebrating the holidays. Candy? Hi, I'm here with the president of our United States of America talking about his favorite Christmas traditions. Mr. President, what is your favorite Christmas tradition to celebrate with your family? I really like picking out the tree with Sasha and Malia. And what is your favorite part about this tree that you have here? The fact that it is a fellow American. And wait a minute, what is this I see? This isn't a, even a real Christmas tree. What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. President? Why do you have a fake tree? Are you even a real American citizen? We have a problem. We'll be right back. Illegal immigration. Trucks. Baseball. Kwanzaa. Barbecues. Chinese food. But most importantly, we love voting! Sorry for the quick commercial break, viewers. There seems to be some issues occurring at the White House. On a more positive note, Candy has traveled from the Capitol back here to Sylvania to interview Senator Malou on how she's baking in the new year. Here we are with Senator Tammy Malou as she uses her baking talents to make this new year a great one for the orphans. What are you baking today? I am baking for sons and pineapple truffle salad. Awesome. And what gave you the idea to bake for the orphans? Well, I enjoy baking. I love baking. And everybody seems to enjoy my cooking, so, and I like helping others. All right. We hope everybody keeps this thoughtful quality of Tammy in mind as they enter the voting booths this upcoming election season. Hmm. Make sure to bring some of those yummy treats back to the station with you, Candy. While Candy was spending time in the Malou household, Hannah dug into how other families are spending their holiday season. She's standing by with the Horowitzes of Sylvania now. Well, as we know, Hanukkah fell near the same time as Thanksgiving this year, and we're here with Jessica Horowitz to discuss the holiday. Jessica, what would you say is your favorite Hanukkah tradition? Well, my favorite Hanukkah tradition is when my family goes to my grandma's house and we light the menorah, and my little cousins and I roast marshmallows over the flames for a nice tasty treat. Oh, that sounds like a blast. And what would you say is the most important part of the holiday for you and your family? The most important part of the holiday is definitely just being with everybody from out of town and being with my family, and especially getting presents. <laughs> well, it sounds like a festive time in the Horwitz household. Thank you for taking the time to chat with us today. Back to you in the studio, Christy. It's truly great to experience different religions and cultures during this season and shows what the holidays are really about. Unfortunately, there is a Grinch on the loose this holiday season as yet another home has been robbed. Yeah. Here we are at the Chen residence where we just recently got word that all of their Christmas presents were stolen this afternoon in the broad daylight. I want to remind you again how important it is to lock up your houses and your cars because these burglaries are very serious. Back to you, Christy. Truly sickening seeing someone trying to spoil the season. He is definitely on our naughty list, but they aren't the only ones. You'll be surprised to find out the big jolly man himself might find himself on the naughty list. Stay tuned for more details after this break. I just got 25% off for my phone. Look what I bought. What is she doing? She's a just... kid. 
gift and out. If you want 25% off too, you should go vote. I'm here at Santa's Toy Factory with three of his elves now. Mm. Joe, have the Santa been abusing you lately? Yes, we've been working a lot of hours. And Kyle, how long have you been working here at the Toy Factory? Over oh, like 5,000 years. I don't even get a good pay. Oh my gosh. And what's the problem with you, little guy? Santa doesn't even give me warm clothes. Well, you've heard it, heard it here, folks. Back to you in the studio. Those children definitely deserve some extra presents under the tree, or better yet, a long beach vacation. And not to be a Scrooge, but we have some more bad news, as there's yet a third robbery. Candy's standing by for more. Here we are at the Dong residence, where our third burglary is happening right now. Hey. Oh look, what seems to be happening? It looks like our burglar is being caught right now. Make sure you lock up your houses so this Grinch doesn't steal your presents this year. A true Christmas miracle. Well, folks, we've seen it all here, and these holiday mishaps are only covered by Channel 25. I'm Christy Carroll. Thanks for tuning in. Tis the season, and Happy New Year.